This is Walter's head. But I can't make him move. <laughs> Hi lovely people! Here is something you maybe don't know about me. Um, unless of course we have shared food in the last like 10 years, in which case you will definitely notice. I can't eat starch. Basically, my body just doesn't process it, which means no wheat, no oats. That's one really weird sign for oats. Isn't it? Oats. I quite like it though. Um, no rice, no corn, no maize, which is like the same thing. No dairy, no alcohol, no beans, no sugar, no bananas. And it's very specific, yeah. That's absolutely no kind of grains at all. No root vegetables. I know, it's weird. It's really weird, isn't it? I know what you're thinking, because it's the same thing that everyone asks me when I tell them. Generally, also, with this face. What do you eat? thinking about not being able to eat pizza. I understand. I look at people who don't eat vegetables the same way. <laughs> because of course, vegetables are quite a large part of my diet, along with proteins like fish. I love fish, I love fish. Um, oh my God, if it swims, I will eat it. Not like, small children or anything but so this all started 10 years ago because like I told you in my chronic fatigue video bing, which you can watch I got ill I was in hospital um, they ran various tests and I had a lumbar puncture which went wrong and all of my spinal fluid just drained away. So I couldn't even stay conscious, never mind eating. At the hospital they pumped me full of various drugs in a non junky way and I don't remember anything from that time period. I could just But fast forward um, a year and a half and I'm still throwing up every day, at least once. And then it kind of spiraled down to being sick after everything that I ate. And then it was being sick after like drinking water. Water. And I ate perfectly fine when I was a child. There was nothing that I didn't eat or... So yes, I know what pizza tastes like. I know what cake tastes like. I know what ice cream tastes like. Also croissant. Mm. So I'm being sick and I'm back in the hospital. The hospital dietitian puts me on an all white diet. Just white foods. Apparently they are the easiest to digest. And it makes me so much worse. So we go to the opposite end and cut out all white foods, basically. We stop all sugars, all starches, nothing allowed except protein, non-root vegetables, soy, dairy replacements, and healthy fats. And I start to get better. <laughs> except that's only better from where I was. It's not better like everyone else. And that was eight years ago. Something could be done to make it better. I never tested this. I, d I don't want to kind of put foods in that I know made me sick before. Because the little bit of health that I have now seems so much better than where I was. And every time that I accidentally eat something that I shouldn't, my stomach's just like, 
No thanks. That was like a baseball, baseball move. Not excellent. As you can imagine, my diet doesn't exactly give me boundless energy. In fact, there are a lot of boundaries on my energy. Here's my energy. Here's the Great Wall of China. You get the idea. Because yes, I'm like totally bubbly and energetic right now. But here's all my energy for the day. It's not like I can then continue. But this is my personality being kind of chirpy. And I would very much like to be able to do that all day long. But I feel most of the time like I'm just moving through quicksand. Over all the years, my doctors haven't really gotten anywhere with the kind of looking into my stomach with their nasty, nasty, horrible probes. So Claudia suggested that we go and visit a holistic nutritionist. I have a very medical background. Not a lot of kind of holistic, alternative therapies going on there. I take a lot of pills every day. I don't really question that at all because I don't have all the kind of broken bits inside because I've been so much worse that I'm like quite happy. I'm quite thankful just to be here. I went to the holistic lady and it was amazing. Mind blowing even. She listened to everything, looked at every little issue, regarded my body as a whole, and then took all of these things into consideration to work out the one thing that's wrong with my stomach. The one thing. Candida. Apparently, all those drugs that I was given in hospital all those years ago, uh, killed the good bacteria. What is the sign of bacteria? So apparently all those drugs that I was given in hospital all those years ago killed all of the good bacteria. Yeah, that's a good sign, isn't it? And it let the bad bacteria kind of roam free in my gut. Basically, it's a kind of yeasty, form of fungus um, that breaks down the lining of your stomach so you can't digest properly the lining sorry so it breaks down the lining of your stomach and your intestines and doesn't let you digest things properly it can also cause chronic fatigue digestive issues autoimmune diseases brain fog severe allergies poor memory and joint pain. All things I have. Excellent. I just like... Could they not have tested for this before? Eight years ago? No, no, no one. But it's actually excellent news because it is something that, that gets better. It's something that you can work on and improve and if I have this like absolutely crazy diet for three months, then maybe, just maybe, I can eat a croissant. Or if that's stretching it a bit. Okay, so it, it's, a, it's a bit of a weird diet. It's kind of, there are fewer foods than I can eat right now, but this is like, kind of like, hopefully in the future, like, yay, amazing. So I'm gonna make a video about the actual diet itself. Obviously, only follow that when I've posted that video, otherwise there's nothing there. So, I know it's really tempting to go after that kind of silver bullet, quick fix and everything will be better, and I've had those in the past, yes, I will admit that maybe sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, amazing, maybe that will work. Maybe it'll be better. And then it doesn't. But also maybe this one will. I realise that this won't cure my actual disabilities, but it will hopefully help with a lot of the kind of symptoms that I thought I would have to just live with forever. 
maybe this could be amazing. Subscribe and join me on this possibly crazy adventure into diet and food and hopefully getting a bit better. Because there is a lot of up to go from having no energy and being sick all the time. Put yourself to wait and see. Ha, 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 ha.